Good morning children. How are you all? I hope everyone is fine and safe. In today's class, we are going to see the subject EVS Unit 2. The name of the lesson is Our Neighborhood. What is the lesson name children? Our Neighborhood. Hood. Neighborhood means in Tamil Sutrupuram. In Tamil it is known as Sutrupuram. Children, our neighborhood is the area around our house. What is mean by neighborhood? Neighborhood is the area around our house house children now think what are the things are there in your neighborhood there may be many trees animals shops temples etc these are called a neighborhood children Trees and animals are also a part of our neighborhood. People who live in the neighborhood are our neighbors. People who live in the neighborhood are our neighbors. Children, we have to be friendly with her neighbors. We have to help one another and we have to share things with one another. This creates a friendly attitude among the neighbors. We can get all the things we need from our neighborhood. Yes, children, we can get all the things which we need from our neighborhood. Children, we must take care of our neighborhood and keep it clean. It is our duty to keep our neighborhood clean. For example, see these picture children. First one, vegetable market. Second one, utensils shop. Third one, textiles. Fourth one, bank. And the next picture is departmental store or we also call as supermarket now tell me children is it true or false yes it is true we can get all the things which we need from our neighborhood isn't it children where do we live Yes, we live in a house, isn't it? Now children, tell me, why do we need a house? We need a house because it protects us from heat, cold, rain, storm and wild animals. So, we need a house. Okay, children. Now we will see about some habitats. What is mean by habitats? Habitats means in Tamil, Vaalpidangal. It means the natural environment where we live. This is known as habitat. 
பூஞ்சோலை இஸ் அ பியூட்டிஃபுல் டவுன் பூஞ்சோலை இஸ் அ பியூட்டிஃபுல் டவுன் வாட் இஸ் த நேம் ஆஃப் த டவுன் சில்ட்ரன் த டவுன் நேம் இஸ் பூஞ்சோலை see the picture children there is one boy the name of the boy is chino chino lives in punjolai with his parents where does chino live chino lives in punjolai with his parents mom Where do my cousins Ram, Ramya, Rekha, Raghav and Raghu live? Chino, they live in different places. I will show you the pictures where they live. Okay, Chino, shall we see one by one? come on chino first we will see about ram ram lives in a village this is his house he has cows and hens too the cow shed is by the side of his house see the picture children can you see this is a village and ram lives in this village he has cows and hens in his house and there is a cow shed by the side of his house so where does ram live Ram lives in a village. Chino, next we will see about Ramya. Ramya also lives in a village. She has a vegetable garden behind her house. Okay, Chino. Ramya has a vegetable garden behind her house chino now tell me what vegetables do you like i like potato lady's finger carrot and drumstick children now you tell me what vegetables do you like Mom, now next tell me something about Rekha. Where does Rekha live? Chino, Rekha lives in a city on the third floor in a tall building. Rekha lives in a city on the third floor in a tall building. building she likes her pet dog very much she likes her pet dog very much mom even i want a pet dog i like to play with my pet dog the whole day okay mom now tell me about raghav Where does Raghav live? Chino, Raghav lives in a hill station. Do you know? He is fond of flowers. He likes flowers very much. So, he has a beautiful flower garden in front of his house. Chino, now tell me. What flowers do you like? Mom, I like jasmine, rose, lotus 
and tulip. Children, now you tell me what flowers do you like? Chino, at last we will see about ragu. Do you know where does ragu live? Ragu lives by the side of a river. There are many coconut trees around his house. There are many coconut trees around his house. And Ragu lives by the side of a river. Chinu, do you like the sound of the river? Yes, mom. I like the sound of the river very much. And also, I like to play in the water. But Chino, it is very dangerous to play in the river water. Children, you must not go alone near the riverside. Children, next we are going to see safety at home and safety at school. First, we will see some safety measures we have to follow at home. Okay, children, first we will see what are the safety measures we have to follow at home. Children, do not put any object into your nose and ears. See the picture, children. Is this correct action? No, this is wrong action because we should not put any object into our nose and ears. It is very dangerous. See the picture, children. Do not play on the banister or balcony. Do not play on the banister or balcony. It is also very dangerous. Accidents may happen. So, you should not Play on the banister or balcony. Okay, children. You may fall and get hurt. So, don't do this. Next picture. See this boy, children. What is he doing? He is playing with fire. Is this correct action? No, we should never play with fire. It is very dangerous to play with fire. Accidents may happen. So, you should not play with fire at any cost. Now, see the next picture, children. See what is this girl doing? Is it correct? No. Never touch switches, plucks with your hands, with leaves or with twigs. We should not touch any switchboards or plug points with our hands or with leaves or with twigs because we may get shock. So, we should not do this action. Okay, children. 
so don't play on switches see the next picture do not catch any insect do not catch any insect because you are all small children isn't it you don't know which insect is poisonous and which is not poisonous so it is very dangerous to catch any insects so don't catch any insects do not play with sharp things like knives or blades do not play with sharp things like knives or blades it is also very dangerous so don't do this see this picture children do not play near the stove see this boy what is this boy doing he is playing near the stove so this is an wrong action so you should not play near the stove see the second point what is this girl doing she is combing her hair do not comb your hair in the kitchen do not comb your hair in the kitchen so we should not do these activities near the stove what are they do not play near the stove and do not comb your hair near the stove okay now see this picture children observe the picture and talk about it a boy is standing in the center of the classroom now we are going to talk about the directions see we are going to talk about the sides front back left and right okay we are going to talk about the sides front back left and right now can you tell me children what is there in front of the boy yes children very good there is a blackboard in front of the boy what is there in back side of the boy back side see the picture yes children there is a bag in back of the boy in back side there is a bag okay now see the left side left side what is there in the left side yes children there is a wooden chair there is a wooden chair now see the right side what is there there is a wooden table wooden table so now see the four sides front side blackboard back side bag left side there is a wooden chair and in the right side there is a wooden table children like this stand in your center of your room and try to observe what are the things in your room in all the sides in left side right side front side and back side okay try to do it yourself children 
Next, we are going to see safety at school. Safety at school. At school, what are the safety measures we have to follow as given in this picture? Now, shall we see one by one? Yes, children. First one, do not jump on desks or chairs. Do not jump on desk or chair. It is dangerous. You may fall and get hurt. So, don't do this action at school. Now, see the next one. Use a pencil sharpener to sharpen the pencils. Do not use a blade. Use a pencil sharpener to sharpen the pencils and you should not use a blade. Okay, children. Now see the next one. Form a queue to get into the bus. Form a queue to get into the bus. Don't push or pull anyone. Go in a line to get into the bus. Next one. Do not harm each other. Do not harm each other. If anyone hurts you, you should not do it again or you should not repeat the same to that person. If anyone hurts you, you have to make a complaint to your teacher. Okay, children, you should not Repeat the same thing. And see the next one. Do not put your hands or head out of the moving bus. While going on a bus, do not put your hand or head out of the moving bus. Okay, children. Will you follow all these safety measures at school? Yes, children. Not only in school, in all the places, you have to follow this safety measures. Shall we see once again what are they? Do not play on desks or chairs. Use a pencil sharpener to sharpen your pencils. Form a queue. To get into the bus, do not harm each other, do not put your hand or head out of the moving bus. Children, now we are going to do one activity. If the action is safe, put a tick mark in the box and if the action is unsafe, put a cross in the box. Okay, children, they have given four pictures. Now, we will observe the pictures and then find is it safe or unsafe. Okay, so first observe these pictures, children. Okay, now are you ready? Yes, children. First, see the first picture. Is it right? Is it safe? No, it is unsafe. We should not put any object into our nose and ears. So, this is unsafe. So put a cross in the box. Now see the next one. 
Is this right? Or is this safe? No, this is unsafe. We should not catch any insect. So, put a cross in the box. Children, now see the next picture. See this boy and the girl. They are playing on the seesaw. Their mother is standing beside them. Is it safe? Yes, children, it is safe. Because we may fall and get hurt. So, it is safe to play along with the parents. Now, see the last picture. Is this safe or unsafe? It is unsafe. We should not play near the stove. It is very dangerous. So, it is an unsafe action. So, put a cross in the box. So, first one, cross. Second one, cross. Third one, tick. And fourth one also, cross. Next, we are going to see true or false. First one, we can buy vegetables and fruits from a market. We can buy vegetables and fruits from a market. Is it true or false children? Yes, it is true. So, write true in the box. Second one, we can get money from the ATM. We can get money from the ATM. Is it true or false? Yes, it is true. We can get money from the ATM. So, write true in the box. Next one, we can play with sharp objects. We can play with sharp objects. Is it true or false? It is false. We should not play with sharp objects. So, write false in the box. Next one. Do not put any objects into your nose. Do not put any objects into your nose. Is it true or false? Yes, children, it is true. We should not put any objects into your nose. First one, we can buy vegetables and fruits from the market. True. We can get money from the ATM. True. We can play with sharp objects. False. And the last one, do not put any objects into your nose. True. Keywords. First one, village. Village. V I L L A G E. Village. Second one, town. Town. T O W N. Town. Third one, garden. Garden. G A R D E N. Garden. Next one, hill station. Hill station. H I L L. Hill station. S T 
A T I O N station hill station fifth one tidy tidy t i d y tidy village town garden hill station and the last one tidy